Okay, so uh, here we, as you saw on the drone part, we've set up poles. The plan is for now to put a rafter on there, on that corner pole, and there, across there like that. It's 100 feet. We have we made the rafters as 50 foot sections, 54 feet actually. They're gonna stick over the edge a little ways. And right here is where we're welding the two pieces together. We had to make them shorter to haul them in, and even like that, there was about that much room if they had been that much longer we wouldn't have been able to haul them in or we would have got them in some way but it would have been harder and here are more poles that's going to be for when we have that rafter hanging in the air there we are i think today there's going to be a telehandler or a sky track coming yet and then we're going to put the rafter up here with that thing and it's going to hold it there while we put up another pole here weld it onto the rafter and another pole at that plate and weld it onto the rafter as well and possibly some some uh, cross bracing going from the pole slanted up to the rafter I'm not sure how that's all going to go but anyway we're going to get these rafters welded together now and then uh, hopefully get at least one rafter up today but I'm not sure if we're going to get it up we'll see Hey guys, so this is Tuesday here, Tuesday 3.15, ready to put up the first rafter, we're just lifting it off the ground, it's going to that end, the last set of poles, you can see we've made an X on those poles, that is to keep the poles stable and we just have one rafter on there, so it doesn't fall over with just one rafter, because we're going to have two on there and put on the, the steel strapping, it's going to stay, but for the first one we have to have bracing there, on those two poles, as you can see the X on both sides, there's a skyjack so you can't see it. But, you can see how this works. This uh, telehandler and the skyjack were donated by a, a guy who, uh, who uh, approves of this mission or whatever, we would say, how we would say it. And is very involved here. He donated it, he has a rental company where he rents them out so they were donated here for use till we're done with it so it's going up higher and let's see if we can get this thing up there all right they got it up it's moving out to that end slow and steady instead of fast to fall down got the skyjack to that corner where we're gonna weld on first i'm getting the welding rods right there they're uh, measuring the pole to cut it it's going to go right on this plate here, up to the rafter. So you can see it's standing here now. On that side we've got two poles in that are holding it. The far pole is barely holding it. It's just welded on. Well, it's welded on too much to twist it. I don't know. If I go right under here, you'll be able to see that it is not the way it should be yet. Both of the the pipe, both of the tubes should be against the pole but they're not so what we're doing is we're setting up the other two poles the middle two poles first then we're gonna grind it loose up there and twist it back in and re-weld it I'm the skyjack driver lifting up the guy that's welding and lowering him and all that driving this thing around it is one of the slowest things I know it is so slow but it works Okay, now we just need to weld that on. Angle iron and a flat plate. That'll weld it on. Then
Okay, so the last part of setting up these rafters is putting on the, what we call the polines, that's Spanish, for uh, pretty much what they are is steel strapping. In a, in a wooden structure, you put strapping on top and under the rafters usually. Here we're just doing on top to screw down the tin. We have to weld them together in the middle and then they go onto the rafter here, get welded on here. And then this is just, this what we have here now is only to keep the rafters from falling over while we're not here or during the night. Keep them from falling over. And then later, as you can see, this one is right above the brace that comes down. Later there's going to be a, a steel strapping or pulling at every, every dow straight down brace. So there's going to be a 14, 14 all the way along on one side plus on the middle and then 14 back down. So there's a lot of them that have to get put on yet. But for now we're just doing so many to keep them all standing. Five all together to keep them standing in one structure. We're going to do three more yet and then our work day is over again.